Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> and let's start with the first game. We're against NKT. Uh, should be quite easy, easy walk for rank four team in the world. Mm. Very nice. So yeah, I, I'm not sure what to expect over here. The only way that Heroic can drop a map is that if they try to test us two, I guess, as they all pick. But even even then, Heroic are just way too strong, and I, I actually don't see any any reason to doubt Heroic. So I would say it's going to be pretty easy to O. Let's jump to the second game. That's where it starts interesting. That's where it starts piping a little bit. So ants are on a on a good run, but. I think they played on their limits and Sphinx can't carry them every single game, especially against the Flames. Flames are really consistent right now. After day 3 or performance, they're gonna be quite a serious threat. And with that said, I will go for Copenhagen, Copenhagen Flames to pick up this one. And if we see an map pool, then Ant's probably gonna try to push for nuke, but I doubt it's gonna be played as a as their own map. I think it's gonna be left for decider, but I don't think they're gonna get to that decider. Most likely, Ant's gonna pick Mirage as their map, and. Well, we see the vertigo over here with a good rate. Ancient as well, but Ancient is a, is kind of gamble, since we know how good ants are on Ancient. So I would say it's going to be Mirage by ants, and then Flames most likely going to pick Overpass or or Vertigo, and then the the third map is going to be most likely Nuke. With that said. I would say it's most likely going to be 2 or for, for Flames because if they get to the third map then it's probably going to be 2 1 for the for the ends. So if it's 2 0 then it's definitely Flames. If it's 2 1 then it's then it's ends. So next game. Next game is Astralis against Movistar. Oof, Astralis performance kind of left a lot of open-ended questions. But so far from what I've seen, Astralis from, from now on will only get stronger with every single event, with every single game they play. And I like Spaniards, but I don't see them winning against Astralis right now. Config is finally done with his hangover. Blame F is putting huge numbers. Farlik is feeling good because he he's being trusted. Zip is occasionally overperforming, and Glaive, ooh, he has the extra motivation. That that brawl with the Cadian, ooh, it's gonna get spicy. And I'm gonna give you a spoiler. I think Stral is gonna meet. Heroic in the final of this event because we have bad news Eagles against NIP like NIP <sighs> I'm not sure what to expect from NIP look they just qualified okay Res kinda played really well Roland showed up why he was actually both but bad news Eagles if they didn't drink way too much after qualifying, then I believe they have quite a good chance to to actually win them win the game. And if this actually happens, if this upset happens, then many teams gonna get destroyed. Many teams. And if we look at the map pool, then what can we expect? Bad news Eagles. They probably could pick. Mirage or Inferno 
and probably ancient gonna be left as a decider. But what 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 NAP is gonna pick? Because Eagles they just perma banning the overpass. Vertigo is really poor map for NAP. Dust two, they don't really play Dust two, so one, two, three, four maps. And out of these maps, I doubt that they wanna play nuke. Like bad news eagles, they they might wanna play nuke, but there's no real point for them to play it because they have quite decent engine. So I would say it's gonna be Mirage for the Eagles. Then most likely. Most likely. Nuke. Unless unless NIP will decide that without having a real OPA it's better to play Inferno because it doesn't require you to play so heavily around pop as any of the other maps and they just can pick Inferno so the most realistic scenario Mirage, Inferno and Ancient these three maps and I believe they're probably gonna go all three maps with the with the Bad News Eagles potentially upsetting all right then next games heroic against flames flames are performing well as i said but against heroic even especially since it's online come on we know heroic online atmosphere there's there's there should be no chance for the flames but i believe that potentially can be an upset but I I really doubt that if we put the percentage I would say it's like 65% for heroic to win it's, it's it's quite quite big percentage but still like those 35% are still possible I'm not going to discuss the maps they're going to play against each other because their map pool is really similar and any any map can be played over there and they just can beat each other on any map as well they're quite similar right now but heroic they have their, their moment right now and then astralis against potential upset if it's going to be astralis against bad news eagles astralis is going to beat them 2-0 because on the individual level astralis are way better than them and the only reason the eagles can upset nap because NIP they don't really have a map pool yet they just like uh, a bunch of very very high uh, skill individuals but still I believe in in upset but it's still most likely that NIP gonna go through but I do believe in upset over here I'm most likely gonna even place a bet for bad news eagles to be NIP because the odds gonna be juicy and the potential is quite quite good over there so yeah Astral is gonna face NIP and against NIP uh, I want to say 2-0 for Astralis but it really depends on a, on a game against Movistar if they actually show up and so far from what I understand the Heroic are going to play the first first game and like Astralis are going to play after them and especially if Heroic beat the Flames over here then Astralis is going to have extra motivation over there and Glaive is, is just gonna put everything through for uh, for the boys to to try and beat Heroic in the final so I still gonna put Astralis to go through to the final to face Heroic and surprise surprise I think that this potentially can potentially can be a playoff game in upcoming major I, I don't mean like the playoff playoff game where it's going to be uh, like eight teams left in the quarterfinals and like Australia is going to face heroic what I mean that before the playoffs it's going to be a decided game with like 2-2 two, two heroic against Australis. that's what I think and one of them is not going to make the playoffs and most likely most likely it's gonna be heroic who's gonna take take the game off them and yeah it's quite quite bold prediction like weeks weeks in advance like what we have almost a month 
until that actually happens. But so far, all these indicators, it shows that there will be some epic, epic games between Heroic and Astralis in the future. And it's probably going to start in this grand final over here for the for the spot in the, in the Blast. With that said, I'm not sure which team gonna gonna win, but for some reason, if this actually happens, I think it's gonna be Astralis. They're gonna take over, take over the game, and they're gonna beat them. But both uh, Glaive and Kaden, they're probably gonna have one of those games where their team will have to carry them, and it's gonna be like poor the leadership, like who's gonna outcall who. And whose player is gonna outperform like the other the other teams? Like Blame is gonna shoot like heads. Bess is gonna try to fight against config. Like this this is gonna be really interesting. I I actually look forward if if this actually gonna be the final. Oof, that's gonna be spicy. I just can't wait. So with this said, let's jump to my team. And this is how it looks. Kaden is a leader. This is his defender. Then I'm picking the Ezzy tech with the support because of the support role. The round survived, the trades, the assists. Since he's playing the op right now, he's he's kinda safer option for that. And I'm not really sure if he's gonna have like a huge chance to um, to op, it should play op again, but still, I I don't really think they're gonna focus heavily on the op. So most likely he's gonna pick it up a couple of times, but still most of the time he's gonna play rifle, because I think that's gonna be their strategy right now to to play with the strats that are heavily focused on rifle rounds. Then I'm picking blame for simple reason. If we look on the matchups, Astralis against Movistar. Let me jump quickly on the match page again. And the map pool kind of shows you that Blame F kind of has the advantage on the on the maps that potentially going to be played in this in this matchup. And let me jump back. So yeah. The maps, Nuke, Overpass, and Ancient. These are most likely the three maps, unless uh, Mirage gonna be picked. Even if Mirage gonna be picked, Blamef still has like huge chance to go for big numbers. And Blamef recently, he had a really good event, while Config was absent, <laughs> let's call it this way. So yeah, so I believe that he's gonna outperform everyone, and I hope he carries on performance and then farlik i'm picking farlik only only because he's a really viable option right now to to actually consider him as a main opa with the with his ratings he he plays quite decent he has a good ratings every single game right now i show some bright side and yeah and it looks great for him boosters well I believe Kaden might 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 get a knife kill over there. This is just gonna play consistent, nothing to expect. Well, this is mainly focused on the on the T side rounds because as he tag he's gonna be traded, I guess, really often over there. Blame 30 bomb just because of the map pool and Farlig because he's he's playing sniper, so he's really often gonna trade. Right, on the T side especially, he's just gonna get those trades. So this is my opening opening team with opening boosters. Well, as always, I guess that's it. Stay safe, enjoy the enjoy the tournament and I'll do everything that's possible to get back on the first place. I don't really like this this gap. I'll do everything that I can and Thank you guys for your support. Just remember, uh, I just reached over 100 subs. And I will do next giveaway. 
when I reach 250 and most likely it's going to be op skin and which op skin I'm not going to show you well let's keep it a surprise and again thank you very much enjoy drop your teams in the forum likes appreciated subs appreciated thank you very much have fun and GG.